Hey there, Kiko here, and in this video, I will show you how to play the intro from Conquer or Die uh, from Megadeth Dystopia album. So let's get started. The song is in E minor, right? And I start with a melody like this in an E minor scale, right? Root, second, ninth, minor third, fifth. Play the tritone, the Diabolos in Musica, right? Then I repeat the minor sixth. So we are here in the Aeolian scale, right? And then I do this melody with the octaves, right? So second fret, fourth, fifth, ninth, eighth. And then repeat, and then you go down chromatically, then to the third, and then I play the major seven, and stop here, okay, first fret. And then we have the G strings ringing and the E here, right, and I'm gonna do a pattern with the right hand and that's what you have to pay attention and practice. It's not difficult, it sounds difficult, I think. It sounds, I think it sounds cool. It sounds difficult, but it's not difficult. So. So it's basically the ring finger playing this note here, the E. And then the E again here, playing with the index finger, so ring finger, index finger, thumb. So one time like this, and the other time with the middle finger playing the G, and the index finger playing E, and the thumb playing the low E. So. so try to get this really even, okay, so play very slow. You can even practice, which is great to practice like this, only the right hand. And now we're gonna play the melody. So, always with the G, open G, right? So let's do the pattern in each note. gonna practice the transition like moving the hand changing the notes and keeping the pattern
so it's quite difficult to find the right moment to change the note so that's very important to practice I suggest you to improvise create different melodies with the same notes I mean to same you know moving in a different um, different places just to get to get the idea different melody or something like that just to have more time to think and where uh, is the best place to move you know then you can try at speed So that's the intro. Now the major seven here. I I play the seventh here. The seventh of the because actually I'm thinking about this is a B major chord that's gonna resolve. So I I play the A here. It's like playing the B uh, dominant, the B uh, minor seventh with the E on the bass. And then um, the very end to finalize, I play this pattern here. Which is. to play like this with one finger just for you to see you skip one string then back skip back skip back and then going up so you can practice only this uh, pattern in the very end all right so now we go for the second part I'm gonna do this E minor here and I'm gonna play if you if you the song if you if you remember the song basically is E minor uh, F sharp, F, E minor. Okay, so I'm gonna play this F sharp here. You see F sharp with with this minor seven, and I play a diminished chord here. It's kind of substituting the B dominant. So, so it's a E minor with the ninth here. But here, okay. So I even play with the harmonics here. Okay, so E minor, F sharp, um, D sharp diminished. E minor again, F sharp, A minor. Okay. And now I, I'm going to the C major. to the C major this C major here with this 
uh, note here, the ninth. But I do a little legato here, like a little extra note, F sharp. And I play the open E, and then, then I have the complete chord, but I play this legato here. And then this F sharp that I just played, I, I will play here, down here. So the thing here is uh, you have to keep the C ringing, otherwise it's not going to sound good. And then the G also. So keep the C ring, uh, ringing, the G ringing as well, and then the C, uh, the F sharp, so C, F sharp, G. Try to do this legato here with the G ringing, not, you know, try not to, you know, to touch the G string, to have that, which sounds pretty nice in the acoustic guitar. That's very important. And now it goes to the A. It's kind of diminished shape, but I play the open E that belongs to the A minor. And then I, uh, I go in minor thirds. Okay, same shape. This diminished shape. up and down and the other two just down okay one two three four So now the next part, which is based on the riff, right? The guitar riff. So I'm using E minor, F sharp, F, E minor, and then another chord, which is, uh, there's many ways to see this chord, very used in classical music and uh, Villa Lobos, uh, used a lot as well and uh, I can I, I think it's more like a A minor with a, a major sixth and with a third on the bass beautiful chord so this one and then a B dominant to, to go back to the E minor so it's basically a harmony like If I simplify the whole thing, A minor, B, E, but I do the A minor like this, the B like this, and then the riff, right? So we're gonna do the same melody but like this. More in an acoustic guitar way using the you know open strings and using these clusters here so if you really keep every every note ringing is the best way to get a better sound you see the b is ringing now the a is ringing right the e is ringing all the time right and have that and then let me tune the guitar it's hot okay, okay. so 
from here, F sharp, but I keep the B and E open, and I play it down, and play in different ways here. And then when I play the F, I even do it like a retardando thing. Are here with the C and B, and then I take my hand like that chord that I mentioned before, so the, the two parts. Once I do F sharp, F, and the other run uh, this chord, the A minor, with the third on the bass, dominant chord, and back. And then to the very end, this. Right? The B major, bass on the A, and then I, I before I, I, just to have this dissonant sound, so it actually is a, is a B major with a G, and then when I move to the A, I change the note to the A here, and then to the G, the bass and then I open up again the G strings here. I'm always keeping this. That's the main thing, ringing. And then the F sharp I I double with the octaves here and keep the phrase and this is a E minor because we have E and we have the third right and we have the ninth the fifth and they have the major seven always creating this cluster here so it's a minor chord with a major seven and sounds I like I like I really like that sound of very jazzy actually but in this way it sounds very you know I don't know creepy or something and then I, I, I will get the harmonics of that note and the open E so the note is here I have to place my finger on top of the fret and then on top of the 12 and then here that's it thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, please try to play that song and post online tag me I want to see you playing and uh, if you want to know more about great composers from uh, classical guitar. I'm gonna leave the link from Villa Lobos, so it's a very, very, very important composer for the acoustic uh, guitar world. So check him out and uh, buy some books and practice. So I know it's a, it's a nice instrument. It's, it's, it's great to have the chance to play electric guitar and acoustic guitar. So it's really important for your musicality in you know, you as a musician, you as a guitar player. So have fun. Thank you very much.